A new school year is getting underway at the Marianne Miller Prieto School in Santiago de Chile. 120 young people have enrolled, and the executive director is here to welcome them. Buenas tardes, jóvenes. Buenas tardes, profesora. Me voy a presentar. Mi nombre es Marianne Miller. Yo soy la directora ejecutiva de la Fundación Origen. Here the pupils are taught not only math and literature, but also values like peace and tolerance. Most of the young people here come from poor or disadvantaged families. In Chile, access to quality education is very unequal. The better schools are usually private and therefore too expensive for a large part of the population. So many children are at a disadvantage from the start. At Marianne Müller Prieto's school, there are no tuition fees. She founded the school and the foundation that runs it in 1991 and has poured much of her personal wealth into the project. The mother of three believes that everyone has a right to a good education. Many of her pupils are orphans or former drug addicts. We only accept the youths with the biggest problems, those with socio-economic difficulties who have previously been discriminated against and dropped out of their other schools. Here they have the best chance to make something of themselves. The same goes for those in dire financial straits. Like Gustavo Rojas, for example. Attending this school is the only way for him to learn a profession. The 17-year-old is completing his degree this year. Later, he'd like to go to university and become an engineer. For someone with his background, that's close to impossible in Chile. That's because Gustavo comes from the Poblacion, or slums on the outskirts of Santiago. His parents died when he was just a boy, so a friend's grandmother took him in. She cares for Gustavo, but has no money to pay for his education. She has two children of her own, and just gets by on her meager pension of 200 euros a month. Sure, I've had a hard life, but I've still got to pull myself together. And this school has helped me do it. I could go to the psychotherapist. They've supported me in many different ways. An organic farm is part of the school. When they graduate, students also receive a technical degree in agriculture with a specialization in organic farming. Hola chicas, ¿cómo están? Bien. Aquí trabajando con las cabritas. Sí, lo que nos tocó hoy día. ¿Y qué les pareció este este trabajo hoy día? Bien. ¿Les gustó? The young people run the farm themselves and produce their own products, including organic honey. They also grow vegetables and sell part of their crop at markets in Santiago. The proceeds are used to finance school projects. It's all part of the school's holistic approach. Basically, that's at the heart of our philosophy, that everyone should have a place where they feel comfortable and can further their own talents. No one is superfluous. No one should be shut out of a society just because he's different or has problems. All young people possess great potential, which we want to develop together. Marianne Müller Prieto is a Buddhist. Once a week she gives classes in meditation and yoga. But she doesn't do it to convert people to her religion. Instead, she hopes to show her pupils how to resolve their inner conflicts.
Most of the young people here find this tough to do. And that proves a big challenge for the school's director. We can't change these children's world. The poor neighborhoods they grow up in. What we can do is to ensure that they make the right decisions in life. The concept appears to be working. Some 400 pupils attend the school each year and none drop out. And half the graduates are accepted at universities throughout Chile.